Let's walk you through the basics of uploading an avatar to VRChat using Unity and an avatar downloaded from Virtual Market. While there are more advanced techniques like making your avatar from scratch or using a base program like Vroid Studio, we'll keep it simple for now and save those topics for a future tutorial. A quick tip to keep in mind is that you do need about 12 to 24 hours of playtime in VRChat before you can upload an avatar. Step one will be to find an avatar that you want to upload to VRChat. A few great places you can find avatars is Virtual Market and Booth. This is a great way to support small creators and you can even make your own avatar someday and sell them here as well. Find one whether it's free or paid and download that avatar. Make sure it has a Unity package for this tutorial specifically. You can find that in the description of the avatar you choose. Another tip to keep in mind is that some avatars do use a shader pack. Not all avatars use shader packs, but if they do, you'll find also in the description if there's a shader pack mentioned. For the avatar we're using, it's going to be using Lil Toon Shader Pack, which I'll show you how to download later. Step number two is to download Creator Companion off of the VRChat website. Creator Companion was actually developed by the VRChat developers themselves in order to make uploading models and creating worlds a much easier process than it used to be. Open the Creator Companion once downloaded and create a new project. Select the Avatar Project 2022 and give your project a name. This area is where you can add additional packages or add-ons for your model. It will also show you the latest version and prompt you to update when needed. Step number three is to download Unity Hub. Uploading an avatar to VRChat requires the use of the game engine Unity. When you click on the version number, the Creator Companion does a great job at letting you know which version of Unity that you're gonna need for the current avatar project, and it will direct you towards downloading that version when needed. For this project, I'll be using version 2022.3.22. To make your life easier and make sure this works, you can download the same one that I'm using from the Unity archives, which I'll leave a link to it down below. Step number four is to open your project in Creator Companion. Drop the Unity package in the Models folder into the Assets section in Unity. Click the Import button and double click on the Unity scene to open up the character. As you can see, my avatar is a magenta color, meaning Unity is not able to find the materials for my model. This is because we haven't added the Lil Toon shaders yet. Next, we'll go to the Lil Toon website, and this website allows you to add the shader pack directly to Creator Companion. Now you can go to your settings and packages and make sure that Lil Toon is installed. If your model is using another shader pack, you can try grabbing grabbing that shader pack once the package is downloaded and drop it in the same place that you dropped your avatar. You can now navigate back to your project and click the plus button. Unity should automatically recognize it and update your project. If it's not working, turning it on and off again, it always works. Now that you have the materials and textures showing, you can log into the SDK by going to VRChat SDK, then show control panel and logging in. After that, go to the builder and fill out an avatar name and description. You're also gonna need a screenshot or a thumbnail for your model. So you can just click capture from scene and use that. After that, scroll down and click this box and then click build and publish. You can now log into VRChat and find your avatar by going to avatars, then to the section that says uploaded. Your model should be the most recent one. Click change into avatar. And there you go, you actually did did it. I never doubted you for a second. We want to know which headset you're using for VR chat. I'm using the Vi Focus Vision because it's one of my favorites because you get to use face tracking and full body tracking, which is literally the most immersive experience that you can get in VR chat. Let me know in the comments which one you're using and be sure to subscribe if you want more helpful guides like this. If this video wasn't too big of a challenge for you, I encourage you to take the next step and create your own custom VR chat model by checking out this video next.